Wired Ministries has been called by God to unite, serve, and disciple. And this week has been such a blessing to watch the Lord work in many different ways with 40 different teams going throughout our community with evangelism, with PCY, with kids clubs, extreme camps, social ministries, and EOC team engaging other cultures. about what the Lord does through Wired Ministries. I believe it allows the church to be seen in a greater way than anything else that I've ever experienced. So I'm so excited, so proud of our team, so proud of our leaders, and look forward to how God is gonna use Wire 2023, not just this week, but beyond for His glory and His namesake. Um, which is a Christ-driven organization by Nate Patterson and his wife. And it's just an awesome community. They bring kids in, they love on them. And here this week, that's just what we're here to do, is add to that, pour into these kids and love them like Jesus does. This is my second year of Wired. I'm so excited to be with the little kids and learn and hear what they say about Jesus. And it's so inspiring for everything that they do. I am at PCY2. Um, we are at Rehoboth Elementary School. We are moving supplies, we are moving desks, we are just cleaning whatever they need. Um, we are painting lines outside, we are pressure washing, and we are just helping them do a lot of them before the school year starts. So this week's theme was in harmony and uh, the students got a chance just to talk about what it means to really be united uh, around their faith in Christ and how that uh, allows them to love one another better, to be selfless in that love, uh, to be united even through our differences, even when uh, things aren't going exactly the way we thought they should or even when things uh, are difficult, we fight through because we're united, because we love one another, because Christ loved us. So Jesus even says in John 17, when he's praying to the Father for the church, he says, may they be united just as you and I are united. And then he says that because of that unity, because of that love for one another, that the world would know that he is who he says he is. And so as we go out into the world, our greatest witness is being able to love one another the way Jesus loved us in harmony for Jesus' glory. Let's give the Lord a big hand clap of praise because He is worthy. I've been a uh, part of Wired for about three years. Um, I would say my favorite memory is last year actually we um, we were part of a kids camp, but uh, our partner didn't didn't show up. Um, it didn't it didn't work out the first day, and so we were kind of bummed out. But uh, little did we know that, that the Lord was in, at work. That uh, He takes mistakes, 
He takes evil and turns it to good. Hey guys, my name is Caleb Miller. I'm with Evangelism One over at the Harbor. Uh, we're doing open air services today. We did one yesterday. We've been doing street ministry all week. We're just going out and we're trying to be the hands and feet of Jesus. The Bible tells us that we need to be the hands and feet of Jesus. We are supposed to live like Christ. And living like Christ means going out and serving the least of these. The Bible was written for the least of these. Matthew 5 talks about blessed are the poor in spirit. We are serving the poor in spirit. We're serving the poor in material things and we're trying to change them in ways that only God can change them so that they realize how much they need God. These material things are gonna pass away, but God's never gonna pass away. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our God remains forever. So I love the harbor. I work at the harbor. Um, shout out to Cody and all the, the staff there, but I'm super excited for this week. Um, I hope we end strongly. I'm praying for everybody. It's been a super emotional past couple of days. I've had one of the guys in my track uh, give his life to Christ. So that, that was amazing because he's super close to me. Um, so I thank God for everything that he's doing in this in this week. God, um, I gave myself to ministry last year through Wired. So I just know what Wired can do um, for the lives of the youth, but also the track leaders as well. So I praise God for what he's doing this week. Thank y'all. church to wrap our arms around this individual who's in that pain and to love them, to serve them, to pray for them, to be there for them, to not argue with them and say, no, you're wrong. God is going to just to be there right there with them. We need that. And that's one of the enemy's favorite things to do for believers to, to use pain to get us to wander from God's truth. Let's go!